You never know what's hiding from you. Could be fearsome, or maybe even adorable. However, this creature definitely scared local residents with number 10. Montana Direwolf Even Montana's own animal experts are unable to identify the species of the dog recently killed close to the central town of Denton, despite the state's fame for its wilderness and wildlife. On May 16th, a rancher saw what he thought to be a wolf among his herd and shot it. He then requested the pickup of the carcass from wildlife wardens. However, when representatives from Montana's Fish, Wildlife, and Parks arrived on the scene, they discovered the female animal had several significant differences from a wolf. Along with other more minor differences, it was notable for having claws that were far too long, canine teeth that were too short, strange fur, huge ears, and short legs. This led numerous people to believe that the unidentified creature may be a wolf dog cross or even the legendary dire wolf. Though Ochley, a representative of Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, rejects this theory. Though, granted, we'll probably never know until the DNA analysis is complete, which, according to authorities, may take weeks. I suppose until then, we can only assume we have a prehistoric animal on our hands. Gigantopithecus Blackie A large ape known as Gigantopithecus Blackie lived thousands of years ago in Asia. It was at least a thousand pounds in weight and about ten feet tall. According to researchers, it resembled a giant orangutan and would have consumed bamboo and other types of plants. There is a lot of speculation as to this monster's true size and anatomy, as the only evidence that it ever existed are petrified teeth and jaw fragments. While some scholars believe it was bipedal, others say that it must have crawled like a gorilla. Although it would have come into contact with some of our ancestors, Gigantopithecus Blackie vanished long ago. Or did it? Some people think that Gigantopithecus changed into mythological animals throughout time. If the Giganto started to evolve while it was still in Asia, it might have become bipedal, if it wasn't already, and more human-like given rise to the Yeti that we know of today. I mean, there was a significant interchange of fauna between North America and Asia over the region we now know as Beringia, after all. Who knows? Might be advanced. Megatherium One of the biggest terrestrial mammals to ever inhabit this planet was the enormous ground sloth known as Megatherium. It was a gigantic and terrifying creature. It was a formidable sight at 20 feet long and had the ability to stand up on its hind legs when necessary. Megatherium was a slow-moving herbivore, so humans probably had little to fear. But it would have been a horrible idea to put yourself in the path of its enormous claws. Why are we still discussing this enormous creature that early humans in South America hunted to extinction 10,000 years ago, though? Well, there's legends of a monstrous being known as the Mapinguari that dwells in the dense jungles of South America. This monster in particular is reported to have a mouth on its belly, gigantic backward-facing claws, and a height of 10 feet or more. Although it may sound absurd, these traits may actually be compatible with the Megatherium. The only confusing observation would be the mouth on the belly, but researchers say it's like the scent gland that most sloths possess. Short-Faced Bear One of the scariest predators to ever roam the North American continent was the enormous Short-Faced Bear. It existed during the time when the dire wolf, the American lion, and the Smilodon saber-toothed cat roamed the countryside. Even if these fabled animals were fierce, the short-faced bear would have defeated them all with ease. This enormous beast disappeared from North America approximately 11,000 years ago, according to contemporary research at least. However, others think it might still be around today. Cue the Bergman's Bear. Locals on the Russian peninsula of Kamchatka claim to have seen bears that were much larger than the common brown bears there. This creature, called the God Bear, is reputed to have an unusual appearance and a huge frame. It's theorized that Bergman's Bear may actually be the enormous short-faced bear that miraculously managed to avoid extinction in the distant areas of Russia. Cryptozoologists say some may have survived by traveling through the Bering Land Bridge during the last Ice Age. What fuels this belief is that some areas of Kamchatka have been cordoned off by the military. Perhaps it's the bear's breeding ground, after all. Plesiosaurs. Everything happened in the early morning of April 25, 1977. Japanese trawler Zuvio Maru set out to fish for mackerel off the coast of Christchurch, New Zealand. However, something else got captured in their net. What they had caught was not a mackerel. It was a massive carcass that weighed two tons. This dead animal was in an advanced stage of decomposition and was essentially just a chunk of rotting flesh and some bones. Because of that, it was hard to identify. It didn't resemble anything the crew came across before, so they were completely stumped. The strange cadaver measured 10 meters. The remaining flesh was pale or gray in color, with dermal fibers covering the surface. 
On the back, it had fat and the remains of reddish muscles. The crew speculated that it might have just been a dead whale. However, it also resembled a long-extinct sea reptile from the prehistoric era, the plesiosaur. Sadly though, Captain Akira Tanaka made the executive decision to discard the carcass back into the water before it contaminated their catch. At least they took pictures before throwing it back to the sea. Dinosaurs Every child, and even some adults like me, dream about the possibility that some dinosaurs may still exist today, despite science saying they all went extinct years ago. I mean, sure, we have cryptozoologists, don't we? And you know what? Some of them talk of tales of bizarre creatures in the African Congo region. According to legends passed down by local tribes, Africa may still be home to a variety of dinosaur species. One, known as Mokele Mbeme, is reported to have an elephant-like body size, a long neck, and a small head. It consumes plants, lives in the river, and is extremely violent when approached. Sounds kind of familiar, don't it? Yep, the sauropod dinosaur. Other depictions are consistent with stegosaurs and other species. To be fair though, remote regions of Africa would be a fantastic area for dinosaurs to hide out if they still existed. These areas are perilous and rarely visited by outsiders. May sound absurd to believe that dinosaurs somehow survived the catastrophe millions of years ago, but really, who knows? If anything, we already learned that Earth is a strange place. The Titanoboa The Titanoboa was a gigantic snake that is thought to have existed between 58 and 60 million years ago, just after the extinction of the dinosaurs. It said that it could reach lengths of 42 feet and weights of 1,135 kilos. Sounds pretty scary, right? Well, some people think the Titanoboa might still exist in the Amazon. Due to its enormous size of 2.5 million square miles and the frequent flash flooding, the Amazon is one of the few areas on Earth that's not yet been completely explored. Biologists believe that there are many species in the rainforest that have not yet been identified, and the Titanoboa may be one of them. Even some tribes in the Amazon believe it still prowls. Locals reportedly talk about a gigantic serpent up to 40 feet long that they refer to as Yukumana, or Mother of the Water. If the Yukumana rumors are accurate, this serpent might be a previously unidentified type of anaconda, or perhaps a live titanoboa. I mean, if you think about it, the Amazon's muddy waters may theoretically give titanoboa shelter after all. Now it's time for the day's best pick. So far, we focus on animals that may still exist. This next one, though, definitely does, as it's the modern evolution of one of the longest standing species on Earth. Gariol. Crocodilians are ancient species and they look the part. One species in particular wins the prize for most ancient looking though. Gariols have long, slender, sword-like mouths that are packed with buzzing teeth. At the tip of their snouts, males grow a large, bulbous nose that give them a rather amusing appearance. Although gharials have existed for millions of years in various forms, the current gharial is the last member of this lineage that's still in existence. Unfortunately, with less than 200 breeding gharials surviving in the wild in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India, it too is in danger of going extinct. Currently, it's listed as critically endangered, according to the IUCN. Fortunately, the Kukrail Breeding Center at the Kukrail Forest Reserve in Lucknow, India has been playing a significant part in gharial conservation efforts by breeding the animals and dispersing them to zoos all over the world. You may get up in personal with these magnificent beasts at the facility, which is accessible to the general public. Guardia National Park and Shitwan National Park in Nepal have a small population of this species too. The Little Dodo Almost 200 years after the dodo went extinct, Scottish biologist and bird enthusiast Sir William Jardin wrote about another strange, hefty island pigeon. This Samoan bird was distinctive for having a large, curved bill and a lower mandible with two serrations. Jardin classified the species in its own genus and gave it the name of Dedunculus, which means little dodo. Aptly named too, since genetic data suggests that this little dodo is among the long extinct species' closest living relatives. Sadly, the little dodo is currently on the verge of extinction right now as well. There aren't many high-quality images of the species. Usually, the image is either one of a dead animal or one that's dark and ominous, giving the animal a vulture-like appearance. Granted, that couldn't be further from the truth. The species is actually extremely beautiful and colorful. It also ranks 16th on the Zoological Society of London's list of the 100 most evolutionary distinct and globally endangered birds. Hopefully we managed to help it before we lose it like we did its predecessor. 
But before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Woolly Mammoth. This one is less might still exist and more will once again exist. Yeah, you heard me correctly. It's called the Woolly Mammoth Revival Project. New discoveries in genetic biotechnology opened the door to the potential of reviving long extinct species, or at the very least proxy species with characteristics and ecological roles resembling the extinct originals. One of the most likely candidates for this work is the Woolly Mammoth. It's being attempted because the Asian elephant, a near relative of the mammoth, is still alive. Their genomes are actually so close, it's possible to modify the Asian elephant's DNA to add features from woolly mammoths, creating a species well suited to the cold climates of the far north. The ultimate goal of the project is the reintroduction of the mammoth in order for robust herds to one day replenish enormous areas of tundra and boreal forest, mainly in Eurasia and North America. This is also to help Asian elephants survive in the harsh Arctic environments using mammoth genes. I don't know about you, but it sounds like the long-lost creature's about to come back. Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. See you all next time!